What's up? <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is gonna to be a haul video. These are things that I purchased when I was in Vegas and also prior to Vegas that I just didn't have time and I was too lazy to haul. I was um, there for my 30th birthday and um, I wish I was turning 30. I feel like somebody is coming into my house and stealing shit. I just have to like get this off my chest. The, and the latest thing, which pisses me off so much, I am very um, like organized when it comes to my stuff. Like I have like 200,000 nude lipsticks and believe me, I know when one of them is missing. My Uncommon James Girl Boss earrings are missing and I put them in the same spot, in the same cloth. Every time I wear them, I put them back. So I'm a little, I feel like we have to like change our door code or something. All right, so let's get into it because I have a lot to haul. So Barney's has a really amazing gift with purchase. It's, if you spend two, over $200, you get, you get this whole bag of shit and it is like legit sample sizes. Everything you get for $200. Um, La Mer is having a really good gift with purchase. So I just feel like I got a ton of bang for my husband's money. Really wanted to try um, the concentrate. Um, I've tried several products from them. And this is the thing about La Mer. They just like draw you in. I'm always like, I don't like them. It's too expensive. It doesn't work for me. And then I'll get sucked in somewhere. They'll do like one of those like La Mer happy ending facials. I'll just purchase something. So I wanted to try this because it was the cheapest thing, even though it's not cheap. This is this is a fucking car payment. This could be a car payment. Will you guys let me know what you think about this? Will you also let me know what is worth it in your opinion for La Mer? I want to like repurchase the soft cream and then is there something else that you guys would recommend and then how do you use this like in addition to your skincare routine? Like if you use medical grade skincare, um, how do you incorporate this in it? Just let me know because I couldn't ask her. Barney's apparently likes to hire people that don't, that know nothing about the store, literally nothing really really wanted to test this out from barney's after seeing like michelle wang who i met up with when i was in vegas i love her um we had such a good time together we shopped at chanel did some other things next time i go to vegas we will definitely be hanging out but i want to try out some of the new gucci westman beauty and i did get two things this foundation is unreal i cannot wait to do a get ready with me so you guys can see how it's applied but um, it is so fantastic. This is the Vital Skin Foundation Stick. They didn't cheap out on the packaging whatsoever. I'm in the shade um, two, and this is what it looks like. The top is magnetic, which is amazing, and it's such a buttery, creamy foundation. Really makes your skin look flawless. So easy to apply. You could, you could apply it with a beauty blender or a blush, and it blends amazingly. It really does a great job of blending. One of my favorite purchases, I am so glad that, that I got this. It's definitely worth the money. And then I also got uh, the Lit Highlighter, which is what I'm wearing today, and it's stunning. She was saying that you could apply this first and then the foundation over it if you have drier skin types because it's a very um, lit from within glow type highlighter. So you're not gonna get any glitter, disco shit on your face. So yeah, packaging is pretty much the same. It's amazing. And I hope she comes out with more stuff. Then I also got two things from Surratt and I've tried a couple of, of their products, which I really like. I got this from this is their what is this called it's like an eye cream uh, my friend told me that this is like a must it's their cream shadows and that is the color that i got this is such a great color just to kind of brighten up your look there it's kind of like just like a champagne it's the color they blend on the lid to perfection it doesn't crease it holds all day and it's just a really nice like if you're going from like a like you like a day to an evening look if you want to do it with a smoky eye or if you just want to throw on something and you gotta rush out and leave this is a really good eyeshadow to do that with and it's when it sets it dries down to kind of like a uh, matte finish and it's really really good the next thing i got was a blush and i purchased barbie a papa barbie a poppy i don't know Ugh, i hate this packaging i absolutely detest it because I'm gonna lose it. And Barbie pink and really pigmented. Right there, 
really nice and blend it out it looks really really pretty on the face last thing i got and i swear by rito makes the best sense if you are looking for a very like either warm florals or clean scents they are going to probably have something that you like because everything is just like I couldn't, I had such a hard time making my mind up because they all smell good and I'm really picky about perfumes that has to be fresh and doesn't give me a headache after like five minutes of wearing it. Got this uh, little combo pack and it has Gypsy Water, Balm de Freak. I think that's how she pronounced it, Balm de Freak. And then Blanc, which is my favorite, Blanche, which is my absolute favorite, ugh. So if you wanted to try any of these, this would be a great way to do it. I don't even know what they look like. Oh, this is cool. Well, they're kind of like glorified testers. So this is what it looks like, and then they come like so. Blanche Gypsy Water, which I was obsessed with. I was so obsessed when I smelled this. It just smells so good, it smells so good. It's like a floral, but more like fresh. I don't know, that I purchased, they come in several different combinations, so I will link that below. Moving on, I my friend was raving about these Bobbi Brown liquid lipsticks. Yes, crushed liquid lips, and she's not a liquid lipstick person because she doesn't like anything too matte on her lips, but she said that these are basically one of a kind, so I got Hippie Shake, oh my gosh. It smells so good. Much the perfect pink. If you want like a yours but better pinky tone lip, because when you blend it out, it just leaves behind the prettiest light pink stain. So that is a pretty heavy swatch, but the thing is, is that when you apply this to the mouth, um, this would be this would actually be enough for your, your entire mouth. And it just is like the perfect baby pink color. It's comfortable. It dries down to like a demi matte and they're just really really good so okay so i got this chanel lip gloss this is what i purchased michelle and i think my friend Teresa got it i can't remember but if you've been with me since the beginning you know this is my favorite all-time chanel shade if not in my top five of any lipstick it is um rouge coco mademoiselle they did tweak the color when they reformulated it so um I'm still mad about that. But it's still one of the best pinky nudes of life. Every single person, so that's it right there. It has a little bit of brown in it, but it's more of like this brown pinky nude. It's so yummy. I probably have a million of these, but I keep on buying them. Um, so the next thing I got was, this is a new palette from NARS. This is the Lost in Luster palette. This is really, a really pretty neutrals fun palette. So I've already used it. This is what it looks like. This color is kind of like a strawberry pink, really great highlighter, and then four neutral shades. This is the highlighter. Look how intense that is. So freaking pretty. Ugh. Okay, so these are the, the shimmery shades, the metallic ones. This is an interesting color because it looks like it's going to be a cool, but it almost has like, this purpley reflex to it, it's really pretty. And then um, this is just like a warm gold and then your two mattes, up. that actually might be one matte. But the other one is just like a basic wedge, MAC wedge type color. Then I got three clothing items. This was not purchased in Vegas. First thing I got was this cute pleather mini skirt. If you are looking for a fake leather mini skirt, look no further, go to 3P. Um, this is from Free People and it's kind of stretchy, so it fits really, really nice, and it's less than $70, I think, for a really cute mini skirt tour with tights. Try this, I absolutely love it. And the last two things I got were from H&M. I got this dress um, in a size 10, uh, bodycon dresses, and I love the stripe detailing. I feel like that would be really cute with some tennis shoes, white tennis shoes. I love this. I'm a size 10 because their stuff fits 12 year olds. Uh, and if it's body conscious, I cannot wear like an eight. It's just too tight. I just, so that's why like when you have implants, it kind of sucks because it's kind of loose in the stomach and like loose in the back. But I can't wear an eight. I mean, I could, but it just, it almost looks uncomfortable. And then the last thing, these are like my favorite hoodies for less than 20 bucks. And I loved this color. It's kind of like a sandy um, pink 
color and um, they've got really great hoodies for super cheap that wash really well. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Let me know what you think. See you later.